What's up, everybody? Upper Lake. Got my sweet, my jersey. My tournament jersey. No, I'm just kidding. But go check out Bait Merchant for sure. So much cool stuff. A lot of local bait makers. Sweet uh, sun shirts. All the good stuff. But Upper Lake trip. Saw a bunch of my buddies. Fish them, baits. My buddy John, Pots Loco. All sticks. Uh, we're all going to be out there trying to catch them. Hopefully we'll, we all find some good boils. But we'll be cruising. All right, guys. See you on the water. Just not on that bike yet. popping up right in the middle of the lake just kind of chasing them they move quick though it's tough to keep on them but at least that riser bait caught a couple little chunky ones which is cool need to probably put the bubble rig back on now uh but no it's cool chasing bait on the surface finally summertime gotta love it all right see ya so as you can see here i'm just chasing this little boil around still but more and more boats keep showing up and it totally spooked the stripers down so once all these guys leave I kind of spot the school just go down a little bit and I tie on the Joe show 
yak fly and I start to troll. Oh. I'm a troll. Yak fly. Little oh, dude. Take it. I'm the only yak fly. Yak fly. On the Joe Show yak fly. Let's go. Come on. Nice strapper schooled up. And the troll. Well, that's fun. Got one troll in there. I'm the Joe Show Yak Fly. Just found a little school. Kind of these schools that are boiling. They keep going down and up. So I just keep passing around some of these points. And uh, I had to do a couple passes because they were loaded. And I actually got bit on the first pass and then got one on the second. Not the best execution, but uh, hey, I got one on the uh, troll. That's fun. I'm going to keep, keep at it. All right. Baby, heck yeah. Yes. Grind it now, boys. Grind it now. On the yak fly. There's one that's probably two something, maybe three. I'll give it a wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's three. Woo! Yak fly. Right around three. Moving too much. Right around three pounds. Look at that. So right after that fish, I'm trolling and I snag on a bush and I break off my entire leader, which is normally 20 pound test. All I had was 12 pound test. So I tie on a new one, get set up to go. And then this happens.
Oh, that's a good one. That looks like a five pounder, maybe six. Maybe four, five pounder. Let's go. Oh. Woo. Okay. So big, I can't even. Four, five and a half pounder. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Dang, that was so sweet. Five and a half on the troll. I think ran like what, four or five times down? That's funny with this reel too. Like, if you just have the drag open just a little bit, it'll let them run, but you can't really get anything back. So you got to keep close tightening loosening tightening loosening but it worked out normally i have 20 pound test leader on this which broke off earlier so all i had was 12 so i was kind of letting it run a little more than usual because i don't want to break off but five and a half pounder sweet let's continue let's go joe show yak fly putting in work Come on. So yeah, guys, um, just striper fish for the most part today. I mean, bass fish a couple times, but I kept seeing little boils pop up. So just uh, stuck with the striper and uh, caught some good ones. I mean, some top water action, a couple nice ones on the troll on the yak fly. So that's fun. Uh, little boils kept popping up everywhere. And I kept trying to chase them. They just move so fast. They're so little. And a lot of times they'll just go right down. So, but it'll get better. As it gets warmer out here, it'll get better and better. So, well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next one.